Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf at the gorgeous Royal Quebec Golf Club. We're on hole number two at the Royal. And uh, I'm showing you what a pry bar and a golf club have in common to help you get the ball airborne. So for the beginners in your life, this is where it's at. So if I take this pry bar, I got three golf balls set up on a tee flush to the ground. And I'm gonna set up the pry bar right there next to the next to the ball on the ground. So notice how the pry bar is easily below the equator of the ball. So if I give it a little bit of a, of a kick, so notice the pry bar slides easily under the golf ball, and then I can pry that tee out of the ground. So if I do the same thing with a nine iron, I put the nine iron right next to here, you can see that the sole of the club is under the equator of the ball. If I give that a kick, well, you notice that ball is gonna go in the air easily. And that's where, you know, when, when somebody hits a shot off the ground and the tee stays there and the tee is down in the ground, you put the club right up against the tee and give it a couple of taps with your foot and you can get the tee back out. So, what's important now is to take the sole of the club the sole of your golf club would represent this part. So if I'm prying nails out of, out of the floor, well, I want the sole of this pry bar to be right up against the floor, and then I just slide it along the floor, and I'm, I'm gonna collect tees naturally because of the way the wedge of this pry bar works. Well, it's the same exact thing with the golf club. If I take the sole of this club, and I run it along the surface of the ground and the, the sole of the club is, is catching the right place. Now, catching the right place, really important for you to understand. If you look at how the machine works, if I only had one arm and I'm giving a nice, I'm making a nice circle around the center of that arm, notice the center's right here, it's the shoulder socket. And you can see that the club keeps passing in the same spot all the time. Well, the beginning of this trace is where I'd want to have the ball. So if I take that, look at that. So all I got to do is bring this over here and then I just let it drag along the ground and I will naturally collect the ball first before I slide it along the ground. So when I do a full swing, I bring both hands together to take my grip. The center of this is right between my clavicles called the sternal notch. So if I swing back and through without stopping, notice the bottom is very close to that sternal notch. So if I play the ball in the center of my stance, and I simply let gravity drag along the surface of the ground, it'll start dragging here and end dragging there. Watch my, watch my delivery. See where that is now? So notice my divot is out here in front of the golf ball. So I bring that over here. Now all I'm doing is I'm using the sole of the club to pry the tip of the tee out of the ground. So my attention is not on the ball, my attention is on the sole of the club taking the tee out of the ground. And there we go. Whoa, four! Okay. So, <laughs> One of the other teachers just snuck into the fairway. Just scared me there for a second, but he's far enough out down there. So you notice the T, the hole of the T is right there. See, I'm just sliding the T right back into its hole. So you notice I pried the T out and I caught the divot well after I caught the T. And that's how it goes. So use the sole of your club as the pry bar that's gonna remove the tee that's flush with the ground and you will get just brilliant contacts with the golf ball. Enjoy that tip, you're gonna love it.